Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am going to talk about um, the movie Ex Machina. Ex Machina is the new film directed by Alex Garland, the, the writer of Sunshine Dread, uh, the book of the beach. Um, and he's done a lot of other stuff too. And basically, the movie stars Oscar Isaac, um, Domino Gleason and uh, Alicia v Val, Alicia something, um, Al Alicia. He also did oh, like Twenty Eight Days Later. I'm just looking at the stuff he did. Uh, Never Let Me Go. He wrote a lot of stuff. Um, uh, Alex Garland. Let me look up her name. Um, by the way, I have IMDb open at the same time. Um. And Alicia Vikander, Alicia Vikander, uh, sorry for butchering her name, um, uh, it basically starts the three of them, and the story is about a young programmer, he selected, uh, he, 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 or he selected, uh, he was selected to see this guy, um, he was like, the, basically the owner of the company he works for, uh, uh, played by Dom the, the, the programmer is played by Domino Gleason, and um, the the um, the boss of the company is played by Oscar Isaac. And so basically, Domino Gleason uh, is like, "Hey, I want you to test out this uh, this robot um, played by that's a girl played by Alicia Alicia Vikander." Um, I want you to experiment with her, experiment her human qualities, um, and, and, you know, like, take, take stuff with her, um, and basically, like, like, hey, get her out, see if she can love someone, see if, see how she feels about someone, so basically, he's kind of being experimented on with this robot, and, yeah, um, now, there have been movies like this in the past, um, before, so it's not really that new of a story. I was really looking forward to this movie. I mean, I like what Alex Garland has done. He's done, like, um, you know, he's done, he's done Dread. I, I, I really love that movie. And, uh, he's done Sunshine, which I don't love. I think it's a really good movie. Um, but, however, the ideas he has are really good. He comes up with really good sci-fi ideas, and that's what Ex Machina has. And I gotta say, I loved it. And uh, this is his directorial debut. Um, I loved Ex Machina. I, I think this is the best movie so far this year. Um, now, now the now just I I could just like the story is very. It has it it has really good. Um, the story has really good ideas. Like, like, it just has interesting ideas, interesting philosophies about AI, stuff like, huh, I never really thought about this, I never really thought this concept. Uh, Alex Garland did a really good job fleshing out the, you know, the, the story, fleshing out the, the, the story and, like, really just making it really good. It kind of reminded me of, like, of, of Ridley Scott, like. Or, or if any, like, it kind of reminded me of Blade Runner at times, like, with that whole Android thing. And uh, it also had its own stamp, too. Um, you could definitely tell Alex Garland was inspired by a lot of sci-fi movies, but you can also tell that he also has his own stamp, and also can, he made this movie his own, which is really go good to make, and, I mean, which is really hard to make. And, I mean... The story, and I mean, just the way the story develops and the way the story goes on. And it also is a fantastically directed movie. Like, this is one of those films that is, like, for the most part, fantastically made. It's fantastically directed by the way it looks, um, by by the suspense, by, by there's some, like, kind of disturbing, unsettling moments. There's also really, really funny moments. Like, this movie, I laughed throughout. I mean, Oscar Isaac really had some really good jokes and I mean Domino Gleason also was really funny like I said the acting is great by uh, uh I didn't say that but, but the acting is great both by Domino Gleason and Oscar Isaac and the way they 
Like, the way they play off each other is brilliant, but who steals the show is Alicia... I, I need to know her name. I'm going to watch interviews just to pronounce her name now. Alicia Vikander. She is fantastic in this movie. Like, like this is like, wow. Like, usually a role like this is actually pretty risky because, I mean, like, like I mean, if you play a robot, that's usually pretty risky. But what Alex Garland did with her and what, what she did, she crushed it. It's like she was like an actual robot. And, I mean... I just really enjoyed her, and the mytho and 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 like I said, I mean, her performance is fantastic. The like I said, I I I really enjoyed this movie. Now, if I had one flaw, it's it's it is a slow. It kind of has a slow pace, which is fine. I really liked how they use its slow pace really well to tell the story. And the movie isn't really that long. It's like uh, an hour, an hour. It's like about two hours or an hour fifty. Um, it, it's it, it it it's not really that long of a movie. It's 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 only yeah, it's only an hour. It's only an hour and forty eight minutes. So it it wasn't that long of a movie. It did feel slow, but you know it it, it did good with its slow. It had kind of a slow burn feel. It, it wasn't like a slow slow film, but it wasn't like. Wow, this is entertaining. I'm going to watch this over and over again. But the ending is really smart. So, like, I want to watch it again and again because I want to see, huh, what is this? What is this? I was a little confused by the ending. I like that. Now, the only reason that, the only thing that kind of dragged me down, like, that kind of took a point away from the movie, is that, is when, um, is when basically Oscar Isaac is, 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 um, you know, he's, He's talking to, he's, 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 um, is when, like, there's a lot of, it kind of feels like there's more than one twist. It eventually works out, but it kind of felt like that for a second, so that kind of took me out of the movie. But overall, I really loved Ex Machina. I think this is a brilliant film with, with, with really good, interesting characters, really good suspense, really well directed, really well written. I'm excited to see what Alex Garland does next as a director, and I'm and I'm on board for whatever he does next. I mean, I I want to see his upcoming projects. Um, yeah, I mean, he, I mean, Alex Garland. Now I am, I am so glad this a guy like this is making movies and writing them, and just yeah, I I really dug this movie. Um, I'm gonna give it an A. I thought it was absolutely brilliant and. Uh, I recommend seeing it. It's gonna get a wider release next next week. Um, so I recommend rushing out to see it. Alright guys, like, subscribe, and bye bye.